Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today I'm going to be checking out the brand new Steam VR Home. So apologies, this came out uh, a few days ago. I'm a little bit behind the curve. I've been pretty busy messing around with my PC setup. So I went from sort of running some green sort of themed stuff uh, to going over to blue to match the channel. Um, if you follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, uh, I post regularly on there about what I'm up to. So if you wanna follow me, uh, see what I'm up to, and then you'll sort of also get a bit of a sneak peek of what's coming up in the future. So anyway, uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up uh, the new Steam VR home, and also uh, how uh, it works, and what you can do in this new feature. So I'm excited about checking it out, so let's dive in. Okay guys, so here we are on my desktop. First things first is you want to load up Steam and go to Library and look for Tools. Once you've gone to Tools, scroll all the way down to Steam VR and right click. Go to Properties and then you want to go to Beta and Steam VR Beta Update. Once that's done, close and then that should add that to your queue. And I'm going to bump it up to the queue and download that right now. And then when you load up Steam VR, you should see the brand new Steam VR Home. Okay, guys. So I just want to check my link to Steam VR still works. So if you want to know how to do this link, there's a video on my channel showing you exactly how to do it. Okay, guys. So the link still works. You can still link Steam VR uh, and now Steam VR Home to Oculus Home, so you can jump between the two applications. So this is essentially what you've got, Steam VR Home. Uh, nice companion cube up there, sweet. It's really, really funky. So uh, I'm gonna have a bit of a play around and see what we can actually do uh, here because I've not really had chance to see what it's all about. So welcome to Steam VR. In Steam VR, you can visit real and imaginary places with friends. To open and close this menu, press the B or Y button on your controller. Okay, to teleport, push forward on the joystick. You will see an arc and release the joystick. Yep, that makes sense. The three panels on the wall will give you access to friends, rooms, and apps. Oh, okay, yep. This menu allows you to customize your avatar, edit your home space, and more. Wow, that's quite cool. Environments. Change background. Oh, so that's cool, look. So now, if I just get rid of this, so now we can see our games and we can see our friends list. That is really, really cool. And you can obviously host a room and invite friends to, uh... okay, so that's pressing the A button centers your view, which is really helpful. So let's bring up the menu button. Um, okay, let's uh, play around with some environments. Uh, get more. Content is downloading now. And I have to say, like, Steam has always been a bit clunky with using the Oculus Rift, but so far, this feels really, really good. Um, more akin to Oculus Home. So I'm really, really pleased about that. It just seems, uh, okay, that's my V, hey, just like a little VR headset. Hey, buddy. Right. While that's downloading, let's, uh, let's have a play around with some avatars. A little small head. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so let's use a little head there. So I've actually, actually let's move the menu here. So, okay. Huh. 
Let's have a blue head to match the channel. That seems like a nice blue. Okay. Uh, touch controllers or hands. I think I prefer touch controllers. Accessories. Let's get some. Oh, okay. Let's get those on there like like so. <laughs> nice. Looking smooth, my man. Sweet. Sweet, so you can actually customize the whole place. Nice. Sweet! Things, tools, multi-tool, cash finder, wearables, quests. Oh, okay. Head crab head quest. Unlock this avatar by interacting with something in the Valve lobby. Uh, yes, please. So there'll be weekly geocaching. Guys, this is really, really cool. I'm so surprised how cool this is. So that's downloading. Let's see what other quests there are. Mars Ball Quest, Balloonicorn, ah, oh, Turret Singers, yes please. Definitely want some of that. So that shows you complete quests. Let's just nip into social, let's have a look. Nice, got Eric. He's away at the moment. Cass and Shari. They're awesome. No one else on. Okay. Maybe later. But that'll be cool. Imagine, like, just creating your own space, inviting all your friends to come and hang out in the space that you've created. I just love that. That is just so cool. Let's see if my environment's downloaded. So let's jump to Isla's Retreat. Sweet! And we can obviously move around. This is amazing, guys! Hey, look at you! Hey! <laughs> this is super, super cool! Imagine just having a little party here with all your buddies, talking about stuff. So good. And it looks beautiful. It really does. Bravo, Valve. You have absolutely nailed it. Right, so let's uh, jump into another environment. See the turret singers. Oh, there they are. at Valve. This is the lobby for our offices in Bellevue, Washington. In our work, we really value face-to-face -face collaboration, so we built our offices to support that. As you look around, you may notice the gifts from the community, awards we've won, 
and items related to our games and hardware products. Take a look around and let us know what you think. We've been giving tours of our real-world offices to fans for years, so if you find yourself in Seattle someday, please come by and say hello. How cool would that be? This is amazing. And the fact that Gabe Newell actually did the... Whoa, check these out. Wow. It's like visiting Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> so Hi, I'm cool. I'm Gabe Newell and I work at Valve. Hey, Gabe. This is sweet. Imagine, imagine being able to work here. That would be so cool. Amazing. Awesome. Ah, you have unlocked the head crab avatar. Amazing. So to unlock the head crab avatar, you just need to touch the steam wheel in the uh, steam uh, environment in the uh, the Valve HQ environment in Seattle. That's super sweet. Okay, so let's try and change it. Head crab. Nice. We're gonna have to move those glasses a little bit. Um. Okay, uh, I think we have to go back to accessories. That's better. Looking good, my man. Looking good. Right. Got a cake. Ooh. The cake is a lie. That is confirmed. Got my companion cube. Oh, feels so warm. Love you, companion cube. Okay, ah, unlock this prop by interacting with something in the Valve Lobby. Ah, okay, so there's other other items that we can actually get here. So let's let's uh, play around and see if we can... No. If you are grouchy, irritable, or just plain mean, there will be a, f a $50 charge. Wow. Ah... So you have to touch that to get the techies prop. So ah, uh, look, guys, look. Okay, so there it is. Medikit. Whoop whoop. Of course, it's from Left 4 Dead. Okay guys, that is the end of the video, and I have to say I've been absolutely blown away. Uh, Steam VR Home completely exceeded all my expectations, and uh, I found loads of really fun and interesting things to do in it uh, that I didn't even know about. So I kind of went in blind, which was good, uh, and everything was a bit of a new discovery. So uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos covering this, maybe on a separate video, like do a geocaching video or something similar. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I, I helped you find maybe some of the props and avatars within the Valve lobby. Uh, so if you did like the video, please leave me a like. Leave me some comments down below of the best things that you've discovered within Steam VR Home. Thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.